Welcome to Jesus Freaks, the radio show, anything and everything Christian. Covering celebrity news, music, and Christian life. And now your hosts, Chuck Williams, Barbie Pocase, and Bob Dio. Yo! Oh, my favorite time of the week. Millie Vanilli's got nothing on me. Millie Vanilli's got nothing on you. I remember the first time I got the phone call, my friend uh, Jewel Valero, who used to be a DJ at Uh KRQ, and uh, she always gave me the ups on all the artists, and she she called me from L.A. because she's out doing radio there in L.A. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my friend Jewel. Doctor of Love is what she was called, if you remember back in KRQ. Oh, gosh, she, I remember that. Oh, yeah, she yeah. had me on tons of times on KRQ. <laughs> they played my music uh, from a uh, band called uh, what it was, uh, So Catcher was the name of the song, Chucky and Star. Chucky and Star. That was in the days when they, all they had the rap names. It was <laughs> Chucky and Star, Deborah Pappas. But anyway, she called me one day. She goes, I'm standing backstage. Millie Vanilli, they're not really singing. They're <gasps> lip syncing. <laughs> the horror. The horror. And I said, no way. And a week later, it was all it over all the world. Out. Oh, my it God. Okay. Well, hey, everybody, you're listening to Jesus Freaks. Uh, this is our fourth show. Fourth show. Oh, my gosh. Bob, did you have a great week? Yes. Uh, you, you want me to say yeah? Okay. It's, it's, it's challenging. <laughs> well, we know. It's, right it's challenging. Yes. It's uh, challenging uh, just everything. So thank, okay. uh, thank the Lord. But, uh, yeah, yeah, every week is good. Every you're week here, is good. You're breathing. We're here. You're God breathing. is still on the throne. And, and, I, okay. so, and I do want to talk because what Bob's referring to is, is, as you know, if you listen to last week's show, he's talking about his mother and, and the things that are going yeah. on with her in the hospital right in cancer. And I'd like to talk a little bit at the end of the show a little bit more about that because yeah. we had a lot of fans and friends reach out to Bob saying that they had prayers for him, saying prayers, and he, saying they wanted to, to suggest things and different things. Oh, so awesome. we had a list of things to give Bob. So thank you out there for, for caring and listening to the show. Oh, yeah. uh, I think right now we are the number one show on Sunday on KVOI. Uh, I think so by far. Uh, <laughs> between all of our podcasting, our listenings, our live videos, uh, if you're on Facebook, Facebook, check out Chuck Williams. You can see me live right now and everybody in here. And if you're on uh, Facebook, also Avondale Pictures. Pictures. Yep, Today right. in our studio, we got no... What? What do you have? Steve oh, Shorman. Steve. Hey, hey, I finally get to say hi. I've been keeping my mouth shut, too. You mentioned me. Uh, that's okay. you got to go through that first so many minutes where I just rattle. That's fine. It's good rattling, brother. Good rattling. Steve Shorman, if you guys didn't know anything about him, he's in our movie Amazed by You. He's also one of the producers. He's also in The Righteous 12 coming up and uh, involved with all of our casting and, and producing and writing. And everything he does over there. But the great news about Steve Schmidt is uh, being a thespian himself. Uh, what's great about him is uh, I can't think of anything. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's, I, I'm just joking. Bob, that's oh, when you man, jump in and go, so yeah, I could, he could think of Where's the drum roll? <laughs> Boom. No, it's that he's a pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Timing you. is everything. In you know what? That's, Sorry what, I, that's that, what I hear. Timing and everything. He's, um, a, he's a pastor. He's a pastor. <laughs> but I'm But you know, he's, he's. Thank you. But you also talk about that real quick, uh, Steve, because we're going to have you for the. We're going to have not, not, not let you leave. We were going to let you talk for one segment, but we're going to keep you. <laughs> we're going to keep you. Here. Keep you Just glad the, you were here. We'll see you next week. Steve. Thank you, Steve. Hey, Jen, Could you take over because up. I got to go to Hollywood. Uh, so anyway, you know, let me ask you a question, Steve. You're a pastor. Uh, at the, at the Book of Life, where we love the Book of Life in town, and you do, you, you, you're Jewish. I'm Jewish. I mean, I'm a Jewish pastor. You're a Jewish pastor because you do a, do, you did two services at one time for many, many years, didn't many you? Many years. Yeah, 1990, we started Congregation Beth Star Shalom, okay. Messianic mm-hmm. Jewish Synagogue. All right. Um, I was that leader until just last summer. Wow. And then we started Book of Life, I think, in 2005. And I'm still the teaching pastor there, yeah. though I stepped down from leadership last summer. Give me, also. Give me a little, yeah. uh, you know, because I'm from LA Hollywood, so everything's Jewish in Hollywood. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and every time you want to make a movie, you got to be like, Shalom, hey, uh, <laughs> you know, you know any Hebrew at all? I remember coming into your offices, and I always see the Hebrew. <laughs> oh, that's great. When he just said, uh, don't eat right now, Bob, we still got like 45 more minutes. Uh, I don't know what that meant. I just I, said, yes, I know a little bit of Hebrew. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so we got a lot of things to talk about. Yes, last week we gave away a T-shirt, uh, Steve Johnson. And this what? week they returned it. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you say that, Bob? Because here's a shirt. They returned it. Boom. And, all right, so no, no. We're gonna give That's it a to beautiful it. shirt, hey, by the way. It's a Shake Off the World yeah, shirt. Yeah, but tell everybody about Shake Off the World. 
Uh, yes. Uh, okay. The, uh, you mean on Pure Flix? Yeah, it's on Pure Flix. Yeah. Yes. Pure Flix. Well, the great news is we are featured this weekend again on Pure Flix mm-hmm. by Amazed, Amazed by, by you. you. They're featuring. Awesome. Which is huge, guys. Woo-hoo. And then, uh, and then of course, Shake Off the World. They're, they're pushing big. Mm-hmm. And Christian Cinema, we're still up there ranking up there with Amazed by You. People yeah. don't Shake know that ChristianCinema.com had like 250,000 unique oh. visits on a monthly basis. On a monthly mm-hmm. basis. Mm-hmm. And we were in the top 10 for over three months. Oh, yes. at least. Yes. Yeah. At least. Yeah, we kept track on to that. To the point, and now with, with Pure Flix, Barbie's like, there's one more person in here. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to get to talk on the radio? <laughs> She's the only girl. Watch out now. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, Bobby, we always say you listen five two zero seven nine zero two zero four zero. You can call in Give and, us a call. and ask us a question, or, or just yell at us, whatever you want to do. Again, five two zero seven nine zero two zero four zero. Bobby said last night or last week he was like, "Well, everybody's driving, Chuck, you know, so they can't pick up the phone." We got one caller in three weeks. Put us so on your speed dial and your cell phone. Yeah, you speed dial. Bluetooth us. us. <laughs> Jesus right? freaks and call us. But listen, so with a lot of things happening, mm-hmm. we're going to give away another T-shirt to a winner. Uh, this show, at the end of the show, you gotta listen to the old, old show, though. You gotta listen to the whole show. Uh-huh. You, you know, there's, there, we got catches. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't come from Hollywood for nothing to learn these little things. But let's talk about, uh, what's going on. Pure Flix, we're excited about mm-hmm. everything happening. And we got a trip coming in, that's why Steve Schmidt's in here. Uh, Steve, where are you flying me? Cause you're interviewing me in Odessa. That's right. What? We are going to God's Learning Channel. Okay. Primetime Christian Broadcasting. Nice. And we're going to talk about Avondale Pictures till our heart's content. That could be 17 days. <laughs> Ooh, that could be or, or like it says, 40 days of 40 nights walking around in the desert, you know, you know that kind of thing. So I'm, I'm excited. If anybody That's knows me, great. I can talk for 40 days and 40 nights, I'm sure, with no problem. <laughs> so very excited. So we're going to go. And then I know that uh, I'm staying out there to, to do a tour towards Texas City where all my relatives are. So we, I think we got like one or two churches in Texas that are going to be playing the movies. Oh, and I just got off the phone with Amy. Okay. She wants you there for two nights because she's going to film you. We've got okay. somebody else coming in. Okay, so great. You're going to hear from Amy real soon. Right, Amy uh, Cooper from God's Learning Channel. I'm there. I'm there for two nights you're flying me out so I'm there alright so that's awesome so we're promoting that and uh, so excited Bobby are, are you already eating something in there because I'm getting hungry you no know, I was I was watching Facebook <laughs> Chuck, Chuck Williams has got uh, Steve Schmidt on today so I was trying to catch up with that oh that's so funny was your was, uh, was Tyler Jones your your uh, guy that hooked you up Steve over there for your mics and your sound and stuff or I just came you? in and it was good to go I don't. I, it was already hooked up before I got here. I meant. I meant back at Beth Sar. T- oh, did you work Beth- with Tyler? No, little, no. Little, Tyler little, wasn't our sound uh, guy when okay. I was there. No, no. Uh, gotcha. At the, the, the Jewish, you're talking about at the Book of Life. When you're talking about that, is it what you? Um, the, the old days of the the where you used to pastor. Yeah, Beth Sar Shalom. Oh, okay, yeah. got it, got it, got it. Well, you know what the thing is. What I know is I did two years. Uh, Bobby, I don't know if you know, it's two years of ministry work. Right out of college called New Life Ministries, mm-hmm. yeah. which merged with Rock, reaching our campus kids to today, which I'm still part of Cornerstone Ministries. I literally was burned out after two years of every day working for God. I know people out there, I, I, big shout out to you guys. We're on our fourth year with Avondale Pictures. Yep. Bobby is a, is a devout Christian over there, and he's, I mean, at least, what, two weeks, Bob? Uh, two, three weeks? You, you, I've been a devout Christian. <laughs> <laughs> he's I, still thinking on it. It's, <laughs> it's been at least seven days. <laughs> seven days. Seven days. Seven that, days. You mean in a row? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I mean, that's that's, uh, kinda, that's a little bit Or you just mean Sundays. It, it could <laughs> be Sundays. <laughs> Isn't that how that works, Steve? It's kind of what <laughs> Yeah, so I've heard. <laughs> yeah. Christmas and Easter, too. <laughs> bonus Steve, bonus. exactly. The bonus is there. But, Steve, you've been a, you were a pastor for how many years? Uh, close to 30. I'd see, oh, wow. i got to be honest with you. At 30 years, I'd be like, I'd be retiring. I mean, I'm not being that retiring or serving God, yeah. but I'd be like, boy, I only heard for two years, I heard everybody's, you know, Talks yeah, and, I know. And they bring you your prayers. Why <laughs> do I know? Oh, <laughs> Steve gets out of the, Steve gets out of the car at Walmart. No, the gospel supplies and they rush you. They rush you. There's Steve Schmidt, the pastor. There's Steve. Please, will you pray for me? Uh, they, but I love praying for people. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people ask me to pray for them. I don't know why. Uh, everybody's close to God. Anybody can pray. But I love praying for people. You like praying for people, Steve? I do. Um, especially when it has something to do with their children. Yes. You know, I just got, uh, there's a place for my heart and kids. Okay, well. Yeah. For kids. Yeah. I've got four of my own. Well, you got four. You Bob's know. got what, two? Four. How many you got? Five? Five. Yeah, Eight. we got a basketball team already. <laughs> and Chuck, how many you have? Zip. Nana. 
I don't have any, but I hope someday I will. I hope to. to well, there's a lot of children who love you oh, through your pictures. Thank you, yeah. thank you. I would, yeah. I would love, I would love to either I'll adopt. I have no problem with thinking about ado- adopting, or eventually, hopefully, having some child before I die. Start with a turtle. Start with. A, <laughs> that would be my advice: to start with a turtle. Do not jump right into a kid. Or if you adopt a kid, try to get awesome. a kid that's already like middle aged. Oh my <laughs> that, goodness! That way you don't have to go through his teenage years like we have. A, a, one teenager, we've got a couple yeah. in their twenties, and we've yeah. got a ten year old. So yeah. we're still all we're all over the place. That way, you know, that's they great. can be upstairs, and you could be yelling. Turn down that Glenn Miller stuff up there, whatever. <laughs> All right. right. I think on that note, do you think, Bob, we can go to a break on that? Thanks. Uh, and love and uh, it will come right back to Jesus Freaks. Yeah. Be right back. His strength is enough. My heart is at peace. For greater is he. And greater is he. From the producers of Shake Off the World, Avondale Pictures. He wanted some kind of cowboy church here on this ranch. Aaron Meese. He trusted all of you as an honest. Sarah Beth Short. That church will just be another mess for me and the girls to clean up. Maybe God doesn't want me here. Neither do I. With Jessica Lynch, Timothy Goodwin, and Richard Pryor Jr. Get him out of my corner. Amazed by You. Now available at Pure Flix, Christian Cinema, iTunes, YouTube, and Amazon. For more information, visit avondalepictures.com. From the producers of Amazed by You, Avondale Pictures. I read in the paper that this is going to be our big season. What do you think, Mr. All-Star? Oh, so how you blow that cover? You're on second team. Aaron Meese. What kind of college is it going to take me if I sit the bench all year? It's over, bro. Time to feel pain. And Jessica Lynch. Hey, Austin. No matter what I do, I'm always going in the wrong direction. Shake Off the World. Now available at Pure Flix, Christian Cinema, iTunes, YouTube, and Amazon. For more information, visit avondalepictures.com. The Hugh Hewitt Show. I have been far tougher on Russia than any president in many, many years. Maybe ever. The president is right. You can screw up the Helsinki summit and still be tough on Russia. Obama was a patsy for Russia. Hugh Hewitt is driving the daily news cycle. Weekday mornings 3 to 6 on 1030 KDOI. The Voice. Well, Jason, I've got to tell you, you're pretty much everything this company is looking for in an entry-level candidate. Great. Your resume isn't quite what we're used to, but you've got a fantastic work ethic. Thank you. And I'm impressed by how you carry yourself. So, should we talk about the job? Uh, What? The job? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I have no way of recruiting or even meeting you. This interview didn't happen. It may sound ridiculous, and that's because it kind of is. There's a huge pool of talent your company is missing out on. Meet the grads of life. Who are they? Talent worth knowing about. Young adults of unique determination and experience. An ideal fit for your company in an entry-level position, internship, or even mentorship. They might not have every qualification you typically look for, but they're exactly who your company needs. Man, we really could have used him. Don't miss out on a resource many innovative companies have already discovered. Go to gradsoflife.org to learn how to find, cultivate, and train this great pool of untapped talent. Brought to you by the Ad Council and gradsoflife.org. Do you feel hopeless, withdrawn from life, work, or your family? Do you feel as if you're being a burden to everyone around you or that there's no reason to live? If these are your thoughts, we want you to know that there's help. Understanding the warning signs of suicide and resources available to you could save your life. Suicide is preventable, and SAVE can help. To learn more about suicide prevention, visit SAVE.org. Yeah, Hillsong. I love music. I love Christian music. 
Do you like, are, are you a big fan of Christian music? Huge Steve? fan. Listen to it all the time. All the time. I got like yeah. thousands of CDs. I'm not one of those people that d- dump my CDs. That was Hillsong United, not today. Official. Uh, we were watching the video. We yeah. get to watch some of the videos here that Bob throws up for us mm-hmm. on YouTube, so we get to check that out. Uh, as as you know, this show talks about uh, anything and everything about Christian. Uh, if you have a song out there that you want us to play, yeah. uh, send it to us. Uh, link, whatever you can send it to Chuck Williams at AvondalePictures.com. Or if you want to be a guest on the show, uh, you just let us know. We we always love to have guests. Or if you want to promote your movies, whatever movie. Christian Christian movie that you have out there, Faith Base? or I know up, some movies we can talk about. Oh, yeah. It's not oh, like we haven't now. talked about them a few times. Yeah, exactly, 4,000 times. Yeah. Steve Sherman in, in the studio with us. Uh, thank you. I'm Chuck Williams, Barbie Poe Case, Bob Dio. Uh, so, yes, it's the exciting thing is I think next week our guest is Alexander Folk. And let me tell you, look him up on IMDb. He's going to be in The Righteous 12. We just signed him oh. last week. If you ever watch Christmas Vacation, he is the uh, the well black or African American, whatever you want to say, on that police, co- chief, police chief at the very that comes in there. at the end and saying, huh? What you gonna whip the what with a? I should whip I you, with, you a, with a ru- hose with a rubber hose. <laughs> I should beat you with a rubber hose. He is so cool. He's gonna come on the show next he's a great week. Guy. And he, believe it or not, Alexander Folk lives in Tucson, Arizona. We did not know this. He's done hundreds. How of do movies. I not know him? He's been here for How two years. Right. <laughs> We've got uh, through Barbie Pocase's people. Uh, they, they they contact. I talked to him last week. He's already signed to be in the Righteous Twelve. Oh yeah. And it's Alexander. Def- uh, just show you guys right there. If you don't see him on IMDb, he'll be our guest next week. And that's exciting. So we can't wait to have uh, Alex. I call him Alex. He's my buddy already. Alex! <laughs> Alexander Folk. All right. Uh, also, the things that we're talking about this week, if we can go to change the screen up here. Um, a church opened up their church at night and allows homeless people to sleep on the pews. I saw that. What a great idea. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, you put the right people together, you get some free cleaning also on top of that. You got some services, you got some food. I mean, this is a brilliant ideal. How many times do we drive past uh, churches in a week? Mm -hmm. And you know, they're used a few times a week. You know what I'm saying? Some are are more the super churches you're used every day. But uh, what a great idea to have a church open their doors and people come in. And you see this photo, if you saw it up on the net, Mm -hmm. uh, I think it says church lets homeless sleep inside. They also offer blankets. And, and massages? Is that what it says? Messages. That's, <laughs> that's good. Um, I, what, which church is that? I think I'll sign up. Because if they were giving massages, <laughs> I'm telling you. know, hello, the gospel, and boom. I think that's messages. I think that, yeah. Okay. All right. You tell. You'll have any. Best life ever. Yes. Right. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, yeah. But what a great idea. It's just a picture up here on the net on, I think, what is it called? Team something on some website. You can mm. Google it. But they're all sleeping on these pews. And yeah. what a great way. They're not hurting anything. Mm-mm. You know, and they're accountable to come in and take care of it, I'm sure, and clean and take care of it and all that. What a great idea. I mean, does everybody agree with that? Oh, absolutely. I think it's an awesome idea. A lot of church would do that when it gets below freezing. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it's dangerous to be outside. Yeah. yeah. But uh, this sounds like something that's happening more often. I think this is happening. Uh, it's at 225 homeless people seek the safety and the rest on the pews in the sanctuary. Here we are. Boniface church in san francisco yeah. every day thanks to the gubbio project. project cool it can't be that hard blankets messages or massages i'll take either <laughs> uh from uh, and all that stuff so that'd be great all right so a couple things that i wanted to talk to you on the, on the segment real quick as i was driving into the to the radio station as you guys know we're on kvo uh kvoi.com if you want to listen there also like i said we're streaming on facebook through chuck williams and and also at avidalepictures.com Jacqueline, over there thank you at avidalepictures.com i wanted to talk about two words i think are very important forgiveness and failure we don't allow our kids to fail as, as much as we were allowed my age. Mm-hmm. We give everybody a trophy sometimes. Yeah, now it's the F word. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And it's, it's terrible because failures builds us up. I know, Bob, you want to probably chime in when I'm talking about this. But failure is important uh, because we got to learn that, that once we get out of high school and college, there are going to be times that are going to be rough. Don't the you guys only agree? people that don't fail are the people who aren't trying. Exactly. And I think on that on that note also, it's, I, 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 don't, I don't have a problem with cuddling and, and, and taking care of my child, and, you know, raising a child and doing all those yeah. things. And there's things, of course, we've grown through these years of different things happening. My, you know, my vice principal used to spank me and just... Junior high, I don't know if you guys were in those days. You know, they bring out the paddle, go see the vice president, and you know, and they spank you. <laughs> Could today, you imagine kids today? today? Oh no, oh, telling God. kids that when we grew up, they had paddles in school.
school. They had paddles. You have to go in the principal's office and bend over. Oh yeah, and there and there would be things engraved in the wood so it would leave a mark. <laughs> I, I read that there was just a, a, a school in a, I forgot which state it was, but they're at, they're wanting to bring that back. And yeah. they sent out the notices to I the tell parents that they yeah. can be allowed to participate right. well, in that if need be. I agree with what Chuck says. We can't, we've got to allow our kids to fail. Right. Yeah. And I think we need more discipline, but I don't I, want some stranger I don't laying want hands on my kids. I'm done with the paddle. You know? yeah. but the guy hit me so hard in, in, in junior high, I'm not kidding. He hit me so hard I turned it around to him because you have to look at an attack. This is how far I go back, guys. I was looking at attack, and he goes, all right, and he swings the paddle, and I turn around, Bob, and I go, is that all you got? Imagine like a 12-year-old dude, and he goes, oh, yeah, and he hit me again. Over the head. And you know what I did? <laughs> thank you. Oh, I man, just, that would hurt. I, thank you. And I just told my mom. And she went down there and leveled it. No, I'm not kidding. She went down there and went into the yeah. office and said, you never touch my child again. That's right. And that I, that I agree. Yeah. What junior high? That was Naylor. Ju- Naylor. I went to Robert ah. Naylor and, uh, and to Ringcon. Ta- Townsend. Yeah. So well, I've heard had yeah. that same policy. Well, I think yeah. in the 70s, because that's when I went to the school, 60s and 70s, you know, they discipline and I understand. But I, I think what I'm trying to say is I think we got to allow our kids to feel failure. Yeah. Not always the winning team. Not always the greatest. You know, we're going to get the best of this and that. Well, the mm-hmm. world is not going to give them everything they want. It's right. not going to cater to them when they get out there. And right. they need to know how to fail in order to get back up and keep building, keep going. If you don't know how to do that, your whole world comes apart. Uh, and, and there's so you many know? references biblically for for yeah. failure. And, and if we're not, uh, you know, looking up for our for our strength and our support, you know, you, mm-hmm. you certainly sit and hold your mom's hand in, sure. a, in a room where she's losing her life. You know, you and your yeah, life. Yeah. I know that's failures rough. running through yeah. her mind and everybody's thinking all the shoulda, woulda, couldas and stuff. But right. it, it's tough when you, you were talking about a child. It's tough when you see your child fail or something when another person perhaps has failed them. It breaks, it breaks my heart. heart when right. my, yes. my daughter invites like say a friend over and then she can't come over or whatever i i, I know oh, not I remember that it's a failure but well, just those little things are. do you tough. remember that line yeah. in, in the batman movie yeah um why do we fall down so we can learn to get up again to get exactly. back up. very powerful very very powerful mm-hmm. stuff. and that and that was funny that you mentioned batman because i love Batman. <laughs> yeah it's <a> great franchise, <laughs> isn't it? it's a great franchise. <laughs> i wish i was i am batman i got a you know one time i used to manage clients and i was working for schofield rice wayne rice who who you know uh produced uh valentine's day when, dude where's my car and all that so i used to be in the office and phone calls would come in and i get a call one day and i said who, who is it and it's like this is adam west for Wayne Rice. I said, one moment. And, I, and Wayne picks up the phone and he goes, uh, who's it? And I go, it's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> True story. All right, and the other second word I want to talk real quick is about forgiveness. We all act like we forgive people, but sometimes I don't think we really do. That's Those are the two F words I'm dealing with today. Uh, forgiveness, I really do think, you know, we're, we're all Christians and we go around, but a lot of times we kind of get hung up and not forgiving. You know, kind of being two-faced, kind of being back, kind of not saying whatever. And I think it would be a better world if we just learned to say it Boom it and be men or women and say, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and then on top of that, to really truly be forgiven. I asked my problem. I'll say I'm sorry sometimes, but I can still kind of sometimes, I'm sure you guys out there too feel this way, see in their eyes, they're like, okay, thank you. But you know, you're not really forgiven. You know what I mean? Um, And then the same in reverse. Sometimes I say I forgive people, but inside I'm still angry. Yeah, yeah, it's very tough. I struggle with it. Well, well, Bob talked about that last week. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's very hard to be truly what you're feeling, but I think God allows us to be that way Mm -hmm. and and to learn because he doesn't take us anywhere where we can't. Uh, uh, I heard a story just today about a lifeguard and he said when those big guys would be in the water, they'd save 30 people a summer, they would jump in the water and save them, right? And they'd save about 30 people a year at yeah. the beach and he said the big old people in there he said how would they would save them they'd let them almost drown and then they would bring them into the beach because if they went in f- real fast they would drown the lifeguard mm. because they're big and overpowering mm. and they would take them down and panic yeah. so they almost let them till they were almost bur- and then they would bring them in. and that's like god with us have you ever noticed that we never like to feel that but we're like drowning but then always we have the promise of god do you remember that story peter walking on the water mm-hmm. yeah he follows Jesus, and then yeah. he looks at the waves, and he freaks out, yeah. and he starts to sink. Yeah. And he, Lord, help me. And Jesus reaches out and grabs him. Oh, I want to see that on video. Oh, that'd be awesome. He's about <laughs> drowning, but God yeah. saves him. All right. Yeah. Okay, guys. So uh, 
Bob, I think we're ready to go to another break. And thanks for your listening to the Jesus Freaks. We'll be right back. From the producers of Shake Off the World, Avondale Pictures. He wanted some kind of cowboy church here on this ranch. Aaron Meese. He trusted all of you guys, and I'm Sarah Short. That church will just be another mess for me and the girls to clean up. Maybe God doesn't want me here. Neither do I. With Jessica Lynch, Timothy Goodwin, and Richard Pryor Jr. Get him out of my corner. Amazed by You. Now available at Pure Flix, Christian Cinema, iTunes, YouTube, and Amazon. For more information, visit AvondalePictures.com. From the producers of Amazed by You, Avondale Pictures. I read in the paper that this is going to be our big season. What do you think, Mr. All-Star? All-Star, how you blow that cover? You're on second team. Aaron Meese. What kind of college is it going to take me if I sit the bench all year? It's over, bro. Time to feel pain. And Jessica Lynch. Hi, Austin. No matter what I do, I'm always going in the wrong direction. Shake Off the World, now available at Pure Flix, Christian Cinema, iTunes, YouTube, and Amazon. For more information, visit AvondalePictures.com. This is Larry Elder, proud American and someone who believes in the American dream. I know because I'm proof of it. On my show, we'll talk news, politics, and debate the burning social issues of the day. And I promise you, each day you will learn something new and you will feel empowered on The Larry Elder Show. Every weekday, right here. The Larry Elder Show, weekday afternoons 5 to 8. It's Intelligent Talk on 1030 KVOI, The Voice. I think moms can sometimes just feel really overwhelmed. As a mom, you face a number of tasks every day, and sometimes the important things get left behind. This is Focus on the Family Minute, and Sarah Williams offers this encouragement. They're balancing a lot. I mean, being a mom alone is such a tough job. And then add on, many moms are working. Um, They might be involved with ministry, and they're juggling a lot. As moms, we really need to take a step back and make sure that we're connecting with God. Um, And out of that, hopefully we can be praying for our kids and really reevaluating on a daily basis almost our priorities. I am constantly reevaluating, okay, take a step back, Sarah. Am I prioritizing God? Am I teaching them to prioritize God? Help your child remember to keep God first. More from Sarah at FamilyMinute.org. Keeping you up to date in the world of Christian music, movies, and entertainment. It's Jesus Freaks, Sunday from 4 to 5 p.m. with host Chuck Williams and me, Barbie Pocase. Everything you want to know and up-to-date news on Christian music, movies, and artists. Plus, you never know who might be paying us a visit on the air. Lots of fun and excitement. Jesus Freaks, every Sunday from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on 1030 a.m. KVOI. funky on you now. Oh, 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 I see an air guitar over there. Oh. <laughs> Break it down. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, yeah. Ver- Veridia. Veridia. And yeah. that's, uh, I won't stay down. I want that. That's the Watch one. that on YouTube. That's brand new. That just came out on the 27th. Oh, Bob, you, 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 you got him, man. They, uh, I don't know if they... What's that? The, well, the song sounds great, but they didn't put much into the video here. I know. Oh, well, that's the video. <laughs> oh, it's because it's official audio. It's, it's just not official, official video. audio. <laughs> but, you know, it's interesting, though, because, you know, a lot of people are going to YouTube uh, yeah. as much as Spotify and Pandora and all the other ones are going yeah. to YouTube for the music. So Well, and also for the movies, we're on, our films are on YouTube, iTunes and all that. We're mm-hmm. here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it real quick. Should, where, where, where was the, uh, the page you have? Right here. Here we go. We are on, just so you know, Avondale Pictures, when we signed our deal with with, with Flex House Global. We're now on Amazon Prime, Amazon, Christian Cinema, Flex House Cinema, Google Play, iTunes, Xbox, Voodoo, and um, y- YouTube also. YouTube. And YouTube. YouTube. Yep. I mean, we're on yep. all those yep. channels. And it's Pure Flix. And Pure Flix. And that, because of that deal, that nice. opened up that next 
you know, when we shoot Righteous 12, we already got a theatrical release. Yep, we're deal. going to theaters. We're in uh, theaters in 20. Yeah. I'm so excited uh, about that. Steve, you're in the movie, right? Yeah. Barbara, yep. you're in the movie, right? Yep. And I think we killed Bob Dio in like the first 10 seconds uh, of the movie. That's yep. what I recall. <laughs> I keep uh, hearing, <laughs> I know I'm one of the 12, but I don't know which one. Well, you, I like number three and number seven. Those are good numbers. Those are good numbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we are in, in draft good. number three. <laughs> so Nice, Steve. Yeah, <laughs> thank <laughs> you. There you go. All right, so some of, some of the other things else. What else was released? Oh, there there timing. Timing. Boy. Timing. <laughs> In comedy. Boy, the timing of our, our orchestra in there. <laughs> they're really great. They're just as good as the Jimmy Kimmel show. But any boom, boom. All right. I don't even know if I looked at Bob right now and said, so give me a snare. Boom. That's not bad. That's close. That, that was That's pretty close. We need the button in here. No, we know. I th- think Dude, he's good on the button. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> what else has been released this week in music? Well, the last break, coming out of the last break, we heard Not Today by okay. uh, Hillsong United. That one just, was just released this weekend. Nice, nice. And Tori Kelly, yeah. Hiding Place. I don't know if people remember her. When she was 16, she auditioned for the singing competition yeah. with American Idol. Yeah, of course, American Idol. And she's a singer, songwriter, actress, record producer. I mean, nice. she's doing a lot. Tori. So what are some Tori of your Kelly. favorite bands, uh, Steve, that you like? You uh, know, I listen to Christian radio all the time. Same here. Uh, Mercy Me. Mercy me, he's great. Toby Mac. Toby Mac. Yep. Jordan Feliz. He's awesome. Ooh. Crowder. Crowder right. is Crowder. awesome. Right. Um, and so if you go back a little bit ways, you got Jars of Clay. Yes. You know, got that kind of things, newsboys and all that. Mm-hmm. I, I also subscribe to idisciple.com, which mm-hmm. is actually family Christian bookstores and Christian cinema. Yes. I Disciple. They've connected. They've connected yeah. all those, all four of those companies have connected now. So I have actually, I, I there's great sermons on there in I Disciple and great, uh, I, hopefully our shows will go on there. Jesus there. Freaks. Yeah. We're talking to them about that. Hopefully that'll be awesome. Great. And we can be going crazy on that. Uh, this is, but the great news is I think Barbie found a really cool movie that was released this week. Let's talk about that movie. <laughs> What's the name of this film? Okay, this is The Passion, a brick film. So it's like The Passion of the Cries. Yes. Well, Mel Gibson's movie that did amazing. Absolutely. And I love that movie. I stand hugely behind Mel. This and portrays what the, work he did. the story of Jesus' death and resurrection okay. through the eyes of Lego characters. Lego! This is a you Lego know, I hope they don't movie. make fun of this. I hope they do it right. No, no. They, they act, from what I understand, it's on Christian cinema. They did. I, oh, they okay. did do it right. Awesome. Dub did a review. Yeah, and Dub did a review already of nice. it and stuff. And it's it's on there, and I, I think it's going to be a way to get your young people to kind of... The little ones. Like, you know, yeah. remember when I was a child, I had the Christian Bible my mom got me. You know, the one where you'd open up and it would have the pictures and Samson and all that. And that's how I read my Bible when I was young, you know. King James was, I, I gotta be honest, at the age of five, just wasn't like, you know, thou, the, and <laughs> Wasn't no. doing it for you, Well, huh? I was, it was a little <laughs> rougher. But I could read, you know, the stories of, you know, of Noah, yeah. and the different, uh, Samson, and, and all the different ones of Daniel and Ryan. And Ryan you State. know, Chuck, I know we're not there yet. What's that? Mm-hmm. But maybe in a few years, yeah. we could yeah. do yeah. a Bible story, a yeah. straight up Bible, like Jonah. Jonah. Special effects, Ooh. the whole nine yeah. yards. Well, they're trying, you know, you got to love Mark Burnett over there, and you got to love Roma and everybody over there. They mm-hmm. are trying to do so. And we see enough. these, you know, Joseph stories come through and Jesus stories come through, and they will continue getting on. But a lot of people, I haven't told this, the vision that God gave me when I, when I was 27 years old, said, he said, you're going to go to Hollywood, and you're going to make like the 12 major movies of the Bible. Mm. And of course, we see with Passion of Christ, you can get to the level that we see with the effects mm-hmm. now. Yeah. But uh, that was what was given to me. I hope that someday we have the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine Revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I'm left behind. I mean, that's fine. But, I mean, really think about Revelation budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine Revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I'm left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, really think about Revelation budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine Revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? 
compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, by oh, the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? 
compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, oh, really think about revelations budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, really think about Revelation budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine Revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, really think about revelation budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelation budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelation budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? 
compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really Sony think about revelations. The budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books and the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine Revelation kind of being done, you know, by oh. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations. The budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books and the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations. The budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books and the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations. The budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books and the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations. The budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books and the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations. The budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books and the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations. The budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books and the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations. The budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books and the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations. The budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books and the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations. The budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books and the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? 
compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, by oh, the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by man. the Bible? 
compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, oh, really think about revelations budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, really think about Revelation budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine Revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, really think about revelation budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelation budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelation budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually make those, because those are all in my heart. I would love to start from Genesis, going through some of the books in the Bibles. Amen. Let's and, do it. And, and could you imagine revelation kind of being done, you know, oh, by wow. the Bible? Compared to a lot of people just jumping on a plane, you know, uh, oh, I love man. Nicolas Cage that getting on there be... going, I'm on a plane, I left behind. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, well, really think about revelations the budgets and the connections Amen, brother. with Sony and, and you yeah. know, different companies out there, firm films, to eventually 